because you've pulled it out now. You've escalated that situation. You've now moved the situation to beyond your control. So now you've got a choice to make. Am I going to just put this knife away and go, no, no, I'm not really going to do it. Or I'm going to stop the person. Our company a few years ago decided that we're a youth development company, of course. And so we decided that we were going to put together a knife awareness project or a campaign to go out there and educate young people around the dangers of carrying knives. Because our mission ultimately is exactly that. We want to prevent young people from even thinking about picking up the knife in the first place. It's not an option. Yeah, and hopefully as we go throughout this presentation today, you will also come to that same, um, same conclu conclusion. I guarantee you in this room, and you guys are still young, you, don't look, you definitely don't look like road people compared to what we've taught in this school and other schools before, but you all know at least one person who carries a knife. If every single one of you drop the dial on their person and the police come and took them up the street, how much of a ripple effect would that have through the community? I know you're saying that the roadman could come in and do X, Y, Z, but if seven, eight, nine men in a two month space are getting nicked for having a knife, is that going to make somebody else think twice before they carry a knife? You don't think so? I guarantee you would if enough of you did something. I guarantee you would. If you know someone who's carrying a knife and then tomorrow night they go out and stab someone, what are you going to think? You, you just shrug your shoulders and go, you ain't going to think of it. Because if it was your brother or your sister or your cousin, Surely you want justice. So what we're hoping to do is unpack some of the reasons and some of the psychology of what's going on in a young person's mind when they get into this.